Greetings, I am Anthony L. Elmore, President and Founder of the Proud Black Buddhist World Association. We at the Proud Black Buddhist World Association practice the Buddhist teachings as taught by the 13th century Japanese sage Nichiren Shonen. The word Nichiren means sun lotus and the word Shonen means priest. Now, the way that we learn the Buddhist teachings is via what is called the Gosho. The Gosho are letters that Nichiren wrote to his disciples to teach them Buddhism. Now, Nichiren follows the teachings of the Buddha Shakyamuni. Now, the Buddha Shakyamuni, who lived in India, taught his highest teachings was that of the Lotus Sutra. And we at the Proud Black Buddhist World Association place the Lotus Sutra as paramount. And today we bring you an exciting Buddhist lecture. Now, our lecture today is called Tina Turner, the first documented black Buddhist in American history. It is ultimately important for black people to understand that Tina Turner is the first documented black Buddhist in American history. In the words that the old black folk used to say, God got his hand in this. It is the work of God that made Tina Turner the first documented black Buddhist in American history. Now, we proud black Buddhists do not communicate Buddhism in the old terms and that we have in Anthony Alf Elmore, a black Buddhist teacher, who can communicate the fact that Tina Turner is the first documented black Buddhist in 21st century intellectual Buddhist terms. In Nichiren Buddhism, it explains phenomena via five types of vision. It is important that you have black Buddhist teachers. As a proud black Buddhist, I see and understand Buddhism from a black perspective. When you watch a movie, an enlightened black director can show you things that the average white or others from other cultures may not see. Now, let me cite you an example about Buddhism in Tina Turner that you do not see. See, it is only the proud black Buddhist that can point this out to you. See, when you look at the story of Tina Turner and Buddhism, there are never Asians in Tina's Buddhist story. When you go to the black church, there are no Asians or white people or white culture. When you go to the Asian Buddhist temples, there are no black people or black culture. This is what is important about Tina Turner and Buddhism. There are never Asians or significant white people or Asian culture. When you watch the Tina Turner movie, What's Love Got to Do With It? The movie is told from a black perspective. See, we have different visions in Buddhism. In fact, in Nichiren Buddhism, there are five types of vision. The first one is the eye of ordinary people. Uh, this is called the physical eye, which distinguishes color and form. Uh, the heaven, number two is the heavenly eye, called the divine eye, which receives things in the darkness at a distance or beyond. Now, uh, the physical time limits of obstruction. Now, the wisdom eye is the ability to see two vehicles to perceive that nothing has independent existence of its own and all phenomena are non-substantial. Now, number four, that's the Dharma eye uh, with which Buddhist scholars perceive the nature of all teachings in order to save people. And the fifth is the Buddha eye which perceives the true nature of life spanning past, present, and future. Now, 
Nitrin kind of explains this in the Go Show. This vision is Myoho Renge Kyo. This is what the Go Show explains about these five types of vision. The Go Show, that's called on 18 perfections. It reads, quote, These five types of visions are the Buddha eye, which is Myo, the Dharma eye, which is Ho, the Wisdom eye, which is Ren, the Heavenly eye, which is Gay, and the eye of ordinary mortals, which is Kyo. Now, Myo means inconceivable, and therefore it corresponds to true non-substantiality and tranquility, which is the Buddha eye. Ho is design discrimination, designated discrimination, and therefore it corresponds to the Dharma eye, which is temporary in nature and embodies discrimination. The wisdom eye corresponds to non-substantiality, being the embodiment of effects, and it is represented by Ren. Gay represents function, therefore is designed the heavenly eye, which is the function of conversion exercised by transcendental powers. Kyo means to smash delusion, and because it deals with delusion, it is designed, designate, design, designated the eye of ordinary people. The Lotus Sutra explains that there is no such thing as happenstance or an accident. Everything happens because of karma. Tina Turner became the first documented black Buddhist in America because of karma. The Go Show True Aspect of all phenomena explains this relationship as to how Tina became and is a Nichiren Buddhist. Let's examine the Go Show. The true aspect of all phenomena. Now, in this Go Show, it reads, one becomes a votary of the Lotus Sutra by virtue of one's practice and past existences. It is karmic relationships that determine which among the many trees are made into images of the Buddha. It also becomes karma that some become statues of Buddhas of provisional teachings. Now, we are members of the Proud Black Buddhist World Association because we have a karmic relationship to be a part of the World Black Buddhist Association and we have a karmic relationship with Tina Turner or a karmic relationship with the New Way to Pray. Now, let us move from about 1974. 1974 is the time when Tina Turner began to practice Buddhism. See, Nichiren taught us and he teaches Buddhism by, by what is called the Go Show. The Go Show are letters that Nichiren wrote to his disciples. And those Go Show, or the letters that is written, that's kind of like our Buddhist Bible. And we read the Go Show in order to learn the Buddhist doctrine as taught by Nichiren Shonen, who taught that the Lotus Sutra taught by Shakyamuni was the highest of Shakyamuni's teachings. Now, in the Go Show, there is a Go Show called the Three Tripatika Masters Pray for Rain. And Nitrin Shonen gives us an explanation as to why Tina Turner is the mother of a proud black Buddhist, but at least he gives it a theory. And he, and he writes in the Go Show, quote, in judging the relative merit of Buddhist doctrines, I naturally believe that the best standards are those of reason and documented proof. And even more valuable than reason and documented proof is proof 
is the proof of actual fact, unquote. Now, Nietzsche teaches us that the best standards to judge Buddhist doctrines are reason and documented proof. Nietzsche writes that proof of actual fact is even more valuable. Now, how did Tina Turner become the mother of proud black Buddhists? Now, let's kind of get into this a little bit more. Now, let us get into black Buddhist history in America. In early American history, there were Buddhists, and they called themselves transcendentalists. Like we, I remember reading in high school English about the transcendentalists. There was Henry David Thoreau, and there was Ralph Waldo Emerson, and they were people who studied the Buddhist teachings, and they, you know, transformed the thinking of America because we were in a transcendental stage of teaching in America. Now, when you come to Buddhism, now the question is, what is the first documented record of a black Buddhist in America? Now, when we said what's the first documented record, what is the first documented record of a black or an African American person promoting Buddhism? Now, we have that. Now, please Google black Buddhists in America. Where is the documentation of the first Buddhists in America? What we mean by first black Buddhist, we mean where is the documented evidence of a black person promoting or introducing Buddhism. Please show evidence as Nichiren writes when he says show proof of facts. Now, Anthony M. Elmore can show you proof of fact. Look on this cover of Jet Magazine dated February 15th, 1979, and you will see Tina Turner on the cover of Jet Magazine, the most prominent black weekly publication in the world. Tina Turner represents Buddhism independent of Asian Buddhist masters, culture, and history. Number two, Tina Turner never allows an Asian to be in her shadow. Number three, Tina Turner speaks about Buddhism with logic, intelligence, and authority. Number four, Tina Turner is the clear and distinct black Buddhist model in America of Buddhism. Number five, Tina Turner is the first documented black Buddhist in America in modern day history. What makes Tina Turner important to black Buddhists in America is the fact that Tina Turner provides a model for black Buddhists in America. Listen to these words of Tina Turner. Tina Turner found her own spiritual pathway. Tina said, quote, I didn't have anybody, really, no foundation in life, so I had to make my own way. Always from the start, I had to go out in the world and become strong to discover my mission in life, unquote. Tina Turner did not follow any Japanese or Asian. Tina Turner met the Dalai Lama. She chose not to take a picture with him. Tina Turner performed in Japan twice. She never took a picture with SGI leader Daisaki Keita, nor did she take a picture with any Nichiren Shoshu priest. In his last speech in the Nirvana Sutra, the Buddha Shakyamuni said, put faith in the law and not in persons. Tina Turner follows the Buddha's law. In 2013, three black women 
concern about the death of Trayvon Martin, Alicia Gaza, Patrice Kouliros, and Oprah Tamiti created a movement called Black Lives Matter. Black women are up and independent and doing great things. Today, we have black women of color who are in Congress, and we have a sister even running for president. Please refer to Jet Magazine, February 15, 1979, over 40 years ago, with Tina Turner on the cover. We have beautiful, strong black women on the cover, or a black woman on the cover, of then the top black publication in the world, Jet Magazine. There it is, a black woman on the cover talking about Buddhism, independent of any Asian, but she's a strong black woman 40 years ago. Many black women who are interested in Buddhism today were not born 40 years ago. Tina Turner gives you a model in history as to how to be a proud black Buddhist. Before we conclude this lecture, I want you to recognize on the last point made by Tina Turner. You see, we see Tina Turner in this picture chanting in front of the Gohanzan. Now, if Tina had continued to chant into the particular Gohanzan, she would be in essence endorsing the Gohanzan by the Nitrin set. So, Tina broke away from all associations with the Japanese sets, and to prove her independence, we see Tina shining to a Buddha statue. Tina did not look upon Nichiren Shonen as the true Buddha, but Tina sees Shakyamuni as the true Buddha, and Tina Turner is independent of the Japanese Nichiren sets. When she got married, she did not have a Buddhist wedding. Doing so would have endorsed a Buddhist set. We at the Proud Black Buddhists only use the Gohanzan inscribed by Nichiren Shonen. We got Black Lives Matter. We got Proud Black Buddhists, whereas over 40 years ago, we see the black woman, or we see the black woman, Tina Turner, who stands up strong and we see black women who are standing strong. We have a model in Tina Turner. We're just a proud black Buddhist world association. We're humans. There's nothing wrong with being black, Buddhist, and proud. Black means culture. Black does not mean race. Culturally, we just want to exist, to teach Buddhism the correct way. And we want to teach Buddhism that with an inclusion of our culture, of our history, and of our language. So, you got it. We taught you Buddhism, the Tino Eternal Way. We are the Proud Black Buddhist World Association. I am Anthony F. Elmer.